Hi, this is Dan Gilmartin, part of the Gilmartin Group Real Estate Company in Burlingame, California, May 18th, 2020, with your Monday Morning Market Minute. Single family inventory from South San Francisco to Redwood City right now is 170. That's up slightly from last week's 166. Last year, this time, that number was 189. And in 2018, that number was 172. Why do I bring up 2018? As of right now, it, it's very clear that 2018 was a a peak uh, for the real estate market here on the mid peninsula and pretty much for the country as well. Uh, we also had 27 single family homes come on the market. That's down from the week before 30 last year at this time. That number was 52. In 2018, that number was 73, meaning normally we're having a lot more homes come on the market in this. This is like we're in the middle of the spring market. This is when the spring market really gets going and a lot of more, you know, the, the bulk of the inventory for the year comes starts coming on right now which is reflecting right there for last year and the year before. Uh, we also had 20 homes go into contract. That's down from last week's 29 and the previous weeks before we're 30, we're, we were finding that 30 base. And as you may have heard me say in the past, in a more normal market, you know, we like to see that number at 40, but with less inventory, obviously means less sales. Uh, condominiums are not 84 condominiums on the market. That's up slightly from last week's 79. Um, and what's very, very interesting is that's the peak inventory year to date uh, for 2020. Last year, that number was 94. And when you know it, it was the peak of inventory for condominiums in 2019. And in 2018, once again, we hit a peak on the same week with 66. We had 15 condominiums come on the market and we had nine condominiums go into contract. That's better than last week's eight. So that's looking good there. Um, also interesting, we had 11 homes either expire, cancel, withdraw from the marketplace. And here's an interesting number. We had 14 price reductions. Last year this time, as we entered into the spring, hot spring market, we had 25 price reductions. Very, very interesting. And in 2018, the number was 10. So why am I, again, I'm seeing a lot of um, numbers that are kind of reflectant of the 2018 numbers. And, you know, with such low inventory, like I said last week, these kind of numbers are, you know, seller market numbers. So total, total from South San Francisco to Redwood City, single family homes and condominiums. Inventory is 254. That is up slightly from last week's 245. In 2018, that number was 283. So we're way under the 2018-19 uh, uh, number. In 2018, excuse me, that number was 238. So where do we go from here? Well, homes are coming on the market, not as much as the weeks before, but they are getting sold. And it is, we do need to remember that we pressed pause, like I've said in the past, this is our doing of slowing this down. And when we did press pause, we went into this, now let's call it a recession, underbuilt. Inventory was way down. And it's going to be the real estate market that helps lead us out of this entire deal. A couple quotes I got over the weekend um, from Dr. Frank uh, Notha. I don't know how to say that properly if I got that wrong. He's the chief uh, economist at uh, CoreLogic. He said, he stated over the weekend, for the first six decades after World War II, the housing sector led the rest of the economy out of each recession. And he expects it to do uh, this time as well. One more quote that I thought I wanted to share from, uh, from uh, Robert Dietz, chief economist uh, from the uh, NH NAHB. As the economy begins to reco recover later in 2020, we expect housing to play a leading role. Housing enters this recession underbuilt, not overbuilt like it was in 2008, 2009, the Great Recession. Based on demographics and current vacancy rates, the U.S. may have a housing deficit of up to 1 million units. Interest rates are way low. We're going to get through this. The real estate uh, economy, the, you know, the housing market is going to help lead this out of here. And I'm telling you right now, there's going to be a lot of pent up demand. So if you're thinking of selling your home, be prepared. There are buyers out there. Buyers, now is also a really good time to find a deal right now because I think uh, when we continue to go through this, this is going to, you know, V, U, not totally sure, but I feel in my gut here, mid peninsula, V, recovering for that, for the housing and our economy here. Thanks for listening. Have a great day and I'll talk to you next week.